Hi, my name is Austin Clement. This is my movie about compressed natural gas. When you need gas, you may be thinking of a gas station. But in this case, when we need gas, we pull into our own driveway. And we cut out the middleman and do it for less. Going up at home is as easy as just clicking it on, and there you go. You're fueling at home with clean natural gas. Natural gas, environment, energy, economics. We're in Maricopa today looking at a house that has an indoor fuel fueling unit for filling their natural gas vehicle. It's a great advantage when they commute to Phoenix because they can use the carpool lane, plus, they can get their fuel for about half the price when they fuel at home. This unit actually is tied into their natural gas line, the same as what they use for their water heater and their stove. Another nice thing about this one is it has the option for the 90 degree nozzle, which makes it so the hose doesn't quite as pinch quite as much when they move it around to hook it onto the vehicle. But you'll notice it's pretty nice self-contained. We've got the gas line. We've got power coming to it, it's 220 volt, 15 amp, and we also have a relief line that goes through the wall and outside in case it ever overpressurizes. It also has a built-in methane detector, and you'll also notice that it also has one up on the ceiling in case there is ever a gas leak, no matter what the source. It will shut down the unit and start the exhaust fan automatically if it senses any gas leaks. And so, even if a natural gas vehicle is not in the garage, it still will act as a safety point in case there's a leak. We'll set off an alarm and evacuate the garage if there's ever a gas leak. In Arizona, we have many fuel makers that we're putting in 2000 that uh, are piped to a remote panel. And what this does is allow people to comply with homeowners associations and uh, clauses that they can't put uh, certain things outside their house that would add to or distract from the aesthetics of the neighborhood. And so what we've done is there's a remote panel that is piped to a fuel maker that's uh, behind the gate. So there is less to be obstructive to the neighborhood. But this basically is a remote panel with a start and a stop button and an outlet for the fill hose to connect to. And here we see the double meter, one meter for the house and one meter for the gas. And also we see the uh, disconnect switch. There has to be a electrical disconnect in case of an emergency with inside of the unit, but it has to be a certain distance from the vehicle. And here we have the fuel maker, the v vehicle refueling appliance. This one's an FMQ 2-36. It's behind the gate. Uh, where it uh, can be got too easily, but it's out of sight of the neighbors. And uh, this one, we're checking an error on it today. On an indoor fill unit, you'll notice here we have our pressure relief line that goes up to above the roof line. And then we also have our exhaust vent, which looks very much like a dryer vent for exhausting the air and also cooling the unit. And of course, in case of a leak, that's where the will exhaust the air from the garage. The gas company also installs a second meter, one for the fuel maker and one for the house. The residential rate is higher than actually the motor fuel rate, so the motor fuel rate and the separate meter is cheaper than what they're paying for the house gas. And this makes it also better when you're trying to figure out how much gas your vehicle is using. It also allows you to track your gas usage and have a, a uh, hard copy 
proof of what you've used if you use your vehicle for commercial purposes such as a business you can also claim a 50 cent per gallon tax credit on the fuel used in your natural gas vehicle. This afternoon we're filling up our pickup in our driveway with clean natural gas. It feels very much like a regular gas nozzle but it's high pressure and works off a compressor and from there we have a remote panel where we control it and of course then the fuel maker is sitting right over here you'll notice by the sound that it's not very noisy at all it's less than an air conditioner my name is Dave Clement I'm the owner of CNG Services of Arizona for more information please call 480-461-5166 or click on www.cngaz.com Thank you. Incentives for driving natural gas. Please support energy independence by supporting the Nat Gas Act. And join Pickens Plan at www.pickensplan.com.